Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we picked up a Black Knight next last time and it is currently getting fixed up in the uh, repair bays right now. Um, but uh, just, to, just to let you guys know, um, my arm, the nerves in my arm have gone uh, bad on me. Uh, so I am, I talked to the doctor, he said I either got to um, restrict my time on the computer at night or restrict my time at work because I work on a computer all day. So I kind of maybe do a little bit of both. So I'm going to just uh, not be recording so much in the evening. Um, but uh, that being said, I want to just jump right into some stuff today. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got this world back. Um, I think we've got enough. We've got enough time to pull a mission off on this planet. So let's pull something off really quick and then jump. We're looking for MRM ammo. Uh, we've got time to wait for our, these mechs to come back and Chupacabra to come back. Uh, so we're going to go and do something really quick. Uh, I had to look through the contracts before I started up. And flushing them out, I think, it's supposedly supposed to be an elite lance of two and a half skulls. We're going to send our main lance in. Uh, we're going to go like this for salvage. And let's pull out the secondary lance today. And let's get our main lance in. Uh, Sunflower, Red Comet, Megasaur. So we're going to go this way, this way, uh, this one, and this one. And let's deploy this and get these guys killed. Okay, let's see if we can crush these guys like bugs. Get our money and go home. So we need to get some major sea bills, I think. Um, up, we need to get that uh, um, Black Knight up and running. I think I'm going to turn it into a full-out melee mech because of the sword in the arm. And what we'll do is we'll probably pull out the Griffin. I know there's been some comments about the Griffin because it's a royal mech right. being used as a melee mech. I think um, now that we've got the Black Knight, we switch it out. Use a Black Knight as the melee mech. It's going to be a friggin' destroyer of worlds, though. That's for damn sure. Uh, let's get to here, probably. What do we got here? Phoenix Hawk. Hetzer. Pegasus. Ilya Muromitz. Uh, interesting. Have we actually fought one of those before? Roger. Yeah, plink on the head, sir. Move order received. Pot shots. Copy that. Until these guys move in, there's really not much we can do. Missed. Yes, Commander. Pegasus. We not hit the uh we can. Now, I don't know if we're gonna have guys coming up on the right here. Positioning myself so that if that happens we're ready for it. We go out to this headser. I really don't like the idea of this guy firing on us. Ooh. Nicely done. So I'm interested to see how this new bushwhacker build works out. In some real combat. The Griffin I was thinking about, if we're going to do that, if we're going to make him the uh, like a regular attack mech, I wonder if we should put like a Ultra 20 in it or something. So that looks like Cataphract to me. Ilya Moromitz. It does look like totally like a Cataphract, probably is. I'm sure I faced this mech before. Uh, let's mess this guy up. I copy. Da -na 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 -na. Where my horns at? Here it comes. Here we go. Ah, got the arm. No joy. 
Uh, that's some pretty good joy, if you ask me. Receiving you. Confirmed. Firing full complement on the move. We're gonna kill the Mermits last. These two guys almost had the same build. Jesus Christ, look at the speed. Gonna confirm the Warlord, and we're gonna go with Inferno because I really want this guy shut down. And that's it for this guy. Wow, this guy's got like nothing on this side. Yeah, you'd apply some damage. Ready for orders. Megasaur. Side attack, let's finish this Phineas Hawk up. You may have survived the first one, but you're now surviving the second one. Tango down. Uh I wonder how fast this guy is. Not that fast. Roger. Eh, yeah, just gonna fire. All right. He's the he's a sad mech. Whenever I see them power down, I just think, oh, he's a sad mech. Yeah, let's try and take this leg. Firing. Oof. Accurate. Got to use a push. That's fine. Ready for orders. What you got left here? Thirty-two, huh? Oh, quite enough. Waiting for orders. On it. We got lucky. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's no luck. It's all skill. What are you talking about? It's all skill, Bubba. Wow, we missed that. Standing by. Fire in our way. Don't even need to move, girl. She's pretty accurate. There we go. Ooh, not quite. I want to use one good hit. There we go. That was easy. Alright, let's see what they got here. Yeah. Could take the Muromits, but I don't know. Only one part's not really worth it. 280 engine. Don't have a lot of cores. This could be C-Bills. Wow, they don't really have a whole lot, do they? 280 core? We're not going to sell it. We'll want to keep it for using it. Ah, the XL engine. For sale. Ah, let's go with the core. 
All right, two two cataract parts, not bad. Okay. Yeah, nothing in repairs. Okay, so we're gonna jump here. Got enough sea bills. Let's jump out of here. Um, let's go to star map and let's find something about three and a half, four skulls. It's got to be uh, it's two and a half. Relatively close jump, but that's oh, 14 days. That's two skulls though. 19 days. What's a half skull? Yeah. 25 days for four. Check that one. That's 16, two and a half. We need MRM ammo badly, and I don't want to be like spending a lot of time to get it. 14 days isn't bad. 11 days. Three and a half skull, 11 days. Let's go here. Ah, uh, I don't know if it's going to have a uh, store though. It's been a few planets I've gone to that just haven't had a store. This one will though. Uh, let's go here. It's an extra three days, but I'd rather be guaranteed getting better stuff. All right, keep going. All right, Black Knight's back. Thank you. So let's get to the planet first. I want to see what they've got there. Just before I decide what layouts we want to do. I do want to get those catapults into battle like sooner rather than later. So we have to go with an LRM build out. We'll do that for now, I guess, until we can get those MRMs up and running. We're going to need a lot of ammo. Okay, let's see if they got any MRM here. I mean, for that matter, we could jump again. Uh, God, no MRM ammo. So one thing I am kind of a bit frustrated about is not being able to find what I need in the stores. Um, kind of a bit of a pain. It is what it is, though. I understand why they did it, so... Um, yeah... Yeah, let's have a look at the contracts here. If there's anything quick, we'll take it. Defend base. Eh, you know what? Let's have a look at the uh, mech base. We got some sea bills. So with the rest of my time today, let's look at maybe doing the Black Knight or something. So if we refit this guy, let's have a look here. Got a lot of space. We've got the 300 core, which, which we need the speed for. Double heatsink kit. Um, if we max out the armor, we're going to have to do that. If we put a light, see the problem is, is once again, it's kind of come down to sea bills, right? We'll probably have to make compromises to start because this, like 1.3 million right there, just to put a light engine in for four and a half tons. That's something we could do later, I think. As much as I like to do it now, I think we can wait on that. Um, so let's pull this out for now. So if we go, you know what, we're going to have to pull the Griffin out of service if we're going to do this. So I think probably we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. Sword is like plus three melee accuracy, plus one arm accuracy with arm mounted weapons. Really? That's crazy. It's only five tons too for plus 65 melee damage. All right, so let's take a look then at the Griffin. The Hunchback's working just fine. I thought about pulling this stuff off the Hunchback, but you know what? This Hunchback is working great. It's hitting harder than the uh, the Griffin, so we're fine with um, leaving that the way it is. So if we have a look at the Griffin, I think maybe we just pull everything off of here. Well, let's leave this in. Let's take the Jade Talons. So we're going to turn this guy, pull this guy away from being a melee mech. Laser AMS I want. The Mask Clan I want. Most likely I'm going to want that. Most likely I'm going to want the DNI Cockpit. Recon Sensors. Probably. Proof Fire Control System can stay here I think. 
that can stay. Retractable blade can probably stay. Let's take the flail though. And the spiked armor. All right, let's confirm this. Okay. Now, thank you. Let's have a look at this Black Knight. So, once again, while doing a melee mech, you want to put anything that does damage, straight up damage, in first. Then damage plus percentage damage goes in second, and then just percentage damage goes in third. So we got to remember that when we're doing this. So if we're going to put in pirate ER mediums, we need to know ahead of time. Um, so spiked armor goes on last because it's just percentage melee damage. Um, it's going to make us heavy, but that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Can always add E cooling if we have to. So I'm not worried about heat. So claws, that's damage and percent. Where are the talons? Here we go. Talons. Uh, just base melee damage. So these can go in first. And the Jade Talons are where? Probably going to want to have to add that mask in here. Where are the Jade Talons? Probably past them. Where are you? Where are the Jade Talons? Uh, do we not have two sets of talents in there, or do we just that I think we did and we didn't? Bet you that's what it was. Uh, of course, I think that's what it was. I think we lost one of the talents. What did I pull out then? What is that I'm missing here? It wasn't that, because we're not doing death from above. I have no idea. Well, talents have to go in first. So let's just figure out the build here and then we can go back. We can work backwards if we have to. So then this would go in second. Claws. Definitely going to want claws. Um. This is going to be massive damage when it's done. Let's leave the claws off for a second. Actually, wait, what's the weight with the claws in again? We're barely using scratching anything at the moment. So let's go um, double heat sink kit. Do we have a plus two? Gah, probably not. We do have a plus two. Let's just drop it in for now. Just for the sake of argument, because when we go to weapons, we've got a bunch of pirate ER mediums. I thought about putting the Ultra 10 in, but I'm thinking that these are probably going to be better. Two of these in this arm, and two of these in this arm. Death stare. Okay, let's do that. And then let's go with... Because these are plus six melee damage each, right? So then we go with claws. What's our heat efficiency at? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, probably not even going to need uh, the the lighter engine. I wonder if we go with a bigger core. Do we have a four hundred? We do. That's going to be way too much weight, though. <laughs> Just a little bit too much, I think. Just a little bit too much. Uh, double heat sinks, or do we want to use... Where are you here? 
Oh, they're right here. Cooling pods. Probably cooling pods, most likely. Yeah, that's better. Um, we're adding heat because of the mask. Oh, yeah, right. Um, before I forget, the spiked armor is going to add a whole bunch of weight. That's right. Need the end of steel in here to get a bit of more weight in here. Uh, we've already mounted, yeah, we've already got full armor. Um, we need some defense now. So let's go down to the bottom. Let's go down here. Uh, let's have a look. So recon sensors we had in before. Oh, there's the Jade Talons all the way down here at the damn bottom. Now I gotta take everything, well, I don't take everything off, just the claws. All the way at the bottom. I knew I thought we had those. Alright, coming back up. The shields, well, the shield's not really a possibility. 5% savings, not much. Where is it here? Claws, here we go. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom. We're going to need an ECM suite. Um, let's just drop the recon sensors in for now. We could go with the R12 sheath beacon as the stealth. Because we're moving so much, it might be better to do this and save a bit of weight. Um, DNI cockpit for evasion pips and initiative. Can't add that. Ah, really? Without recon sensors. Now, fire control system. We're not going to get any melee weapons on this thing. Unless we pull out the spiked armor. Yeah, it's really the light engine. That's what we need. Definitely need the light engine in there. We're okay heat efficiency wise now. Well, maybe not. Well, we're not going to be firing all these all the time, though. That's the thing, right? Um, we're almost out of space, too. We got four slots left. Melee fire control system, plus one melee accuracy. Probably. I mean, we got so much melee accuracy right now, it's ridiculous. What else would we use, though? I can't think of anything else to use. Unless we go with an energy for the bonus to hit for the media lasers, but... Even then, it's like... We're not firing them all that much anyway. But the plus one to hit, I mean, our hit chance is usually up in the 90s anyway. Let's just try this to start. And if we're still getting really lousy chances to hit with these, which we probably will be, we'll see how the melee's doing. Can always switch them around. Um... Uh, can't fit this anywhere. Blue shield field dampener, 1.5 tons. Probably want to put that in. Minus one accuracy with rage weapons. Still need a uh, stealth unit in here. Out of space. And we'd be out of space for the, uh, we need clan endosteel. We'll be out of space for the engine too. We won't be able to put an engine in. So I think, I think stealth is more important than energy resistance. So we've got four slots, one and a bit tons. I mean, we can pull a little bit of armor off. Angel ECM is probably the best way to go. And we can take four like this. 
Oops. There we go. Go like that, I think. Really interested to see what this guy hits at. 21 days. Let's confirm this. Want to see how fast he is, too. I'll let you know when that's done. If it's not really fast, it could be problemental. Prob yeah, problematic. Uh, yeah, that's it for now, I guess. Um, so, I know it's a short episode, but I'm going to leave the episode here. We'll work on getting these other mechs up and running. Hopefully in the next episode, depending on how my arm is feeling. Um, we just have to see. So, we'll leave it here. If you like it, uh, drop a like. Um, also, if you haven't know any place, any planets that are got a lot of ammo, let me know. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll see if I can find a place with manufacturing or industry or something like that that might have them. I don't know. Finding MRMs is becoming a nightmare. Uh, or MRM ammo, that is. Alright, so, yeah. If you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.